Here's one step-by-step -step process of getting the Wii U Pro Controller to work as an Xbox 360 controller. I'm going to use Fallout New Vegas as an example. First thing we're going to do is open up the registry editor. And you're going to navigate under current user, system, current control, control, media properties, private properties, joystick, OEM and then BID, PID, underscore B. And what you're going to do is double click this and change it where it says, this should say VJoy device for you. And just delete that and change it to Xbox 360 for Windows, open parentheses controller. That way, our VJoy devices will match the name of that of a Xbox 360 controller. And if you have it, look in local machine, system, control set 1 and control set 2 and it'll from there it'll be the same path so also underneath control media properties private properties joystick OEM and then the same one here so if you have those go ahead and change them you don't need to restart the computer you just need to close that let's also configure VJoy right now we're going to set it up to have X Y Z and RZ we're also going to have a use slider. Set the POV hat switch to continuous. And make sure there's at least one. Make sure you have at least 12 buttons. I'm going to just choose 17. And don't forget what your target device is. Then OK. And let's set up WinU Pro. Select that and select the joystick and configure your axis. Make sure that your D pad is set up to the POV hat switch. And in the final version, this will be a lot simpler to do. And for the R axis, we're going to use the Z. and R up is going to be negative Z, all down is the positive Z. That's not for inversion, but for some games that can recognize the controller normally when it's just renamed, it will automatically assign those correctly. And then for the ZL and ZR buttons, I'm going to set those to the slider. See, L will be negative and R will be the positive. I'm actually going to just load my configuration so that I have the calibrations and stuff. So this is my setup here. And now we're going to open up the devices and printers from the control panel. Right click on one, properties use properties and go to settings and choose calibrate and then follow the instructions the C axis is up and down on the right stick rotation is left and right the slider is going to be the C L and R buttons test it make sure they all work test the POV hat You can close that, minimize that, and in the X360CE website, you want the X360CE app and the times 86 libraries. Like it says, it uses this for most games. And if this gives you trouble, try the 2010 version. And if that gives you trouble, try the 64 bit and then respectively the next 64 bit. So let's open up the app archive and drag it into the Fallout New Vegas folder. I'm using the Steam version, so it's going to be under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Common slash Fallout New Vegas. You want to put it where the game exe is file is. If you're playing a different game, just make sure it's the in the same folder as the exe. Sometimes it'll be in another subfolder like bin or bin32 or something like that. 
and then open up the libraries folder and just drag and drop these in there. Now you can run X360CE. When I ask you to this, just choose yes. This you can go ahead and press next. Finish and then it says it does not match, just hit OK. Then right now, yes, it will be red, but that'll be fixed. You can change device type to anything. And set up a couple of the buttons. For A, you can hit record and then tap your A button. Or you can go into buttons and manually assign it. Then choose save. Close the program. Reopen it. Hit OK. And as you can see, it is now no longer red, it's green here. Now you set up the rest of these. The way you want to set up the triggers, if you have them set to the axis as, as I do, is for the left trigger choose axis, half, or I'm sorry, sliders, half, slider one. You can test it right away. And for the other one, you can choose sliders, inverted half, slider one. Just note that this way you can't press both triggers at the same time. In order to do that, you need to set them up as buttons. But the way, the reason why I showed you this way was because people were having trouble when they would set it to a digital input because it would just stay on like this all the time without them pressing it. And for the other ones, you can just hit record and set them. That's a good way to do it with all the digital inputs. Let's see, the guide never works for me, but I'm going to go ahead and set it anyways. For the D-pad, you just simply need to choose D-pad 1, and you should see them line up. For the stick axis, you can use record, but if that doesn't work, all you have to do is go to axis and choose axis 1. Y is going to be axis 2. I believe it's inverted. And then for the button, you just record the button. Same thing with that one. And then for the six axis, yeah, that one's not supposed to be inverted. And this one is axis three. Alright, so just make sure that real quick that all the buttons work. This is my layout for the way I had set it up. And so all you have to do is keep this running and then open up Fallout New Vegas and it should automatically detect it. It will, you'll know if your mouse is disabled um, and your keyboard. It'll disable those if it detects the 360 controller. I hope this helps.